Hi, <clears throat> my name is Trevor, and I'll be showing you my tackle box. Um, first off, we have uh, the Chapalier. I think it's DT Fat. It's crawdad red colors. Next, we have um, a shallow diving shad wrap. Um, next, we have a uh, countdown. Um, I'm a big fan of Rapala lures, and I catch a lot of my bass on Rapala lures. Next, I have my Husky Jerk. This lure is great. It's got little, um, little balls, like right in the middle right there, uh, that give it a rattling noise. Next, I have... Um, a floating Rapala. This is an original. It's really, uh, really great in shallow water. Next, I have this X wrap. It's shallow diving, and it's probably one of my favorite hard lures. Um, I've caught in a six pound bass on this lure in the lake about two minutes from my, well, a minute from my house. Next, I have a deep diving uh, X shad wrap. This lure is a great lure. And okay, next, I have a Bill Dance lure. Um, I don't know the name of the lure at the moment. But I'll show you my other. Next, I have Bill Dance Topwater Popper. I've caught about 20 bass on this one right here in about half a year. And next, I have another Bill Dance Topwater Popper. It's a different color, but it says purple back. And next, I have a Rapala jointed minnow. You know, it gives that wave action in the water. It's really great. Next, I have a bigger version. This is Fire Tiger uh, jointed minnow. And next, I have a bomber crankbait. Shallow diving. Um, I actually caught the same five pound or six pound bass on this one because it had a gash in its side and I remember that. Um, next I have Bazaar Spook. I've had monster fish jump out of the water for this lure. This is a great lure for later on at night. Okay, next I have a tiny torpedo. Also a nice lure. Great lure. Made by Hedden. Baby torpedo. I, my apologies. Okay, next I have a Rebel Jointed Minnow. I'm not much of a fan of Rebel because their lures are really light. And I usually fish with heavy tackle on my bait caster. But next we have... This is a saltwater fishing lure. This is the Yozuri Arc Minnow. Um, down here at the bottom it has a compartment where you can stick glow sticks so it's very visible in uh, the dark. I use it for spot tail bass and uh, other fish like that. We don't, I, I don't know if we have snook around here. But uh, next I have a rattling trap saltwater. Looks almost like a Spanish mackerel back or a Manhattan. Okay, next we have, or I have, uh, just a Swiss Army knife to cut the line. My buck knife that I got at Bass Pro Shops. 
Um, uh, we have, we're going on to the spinnerbait, chatterbait area. This is the chatterbait. This is average size chatterbait. Chatterbaits are the propellers on them. They, they are great in the water. You can catch big fish on them. Next we have Booyah, Booyah spinnerbaits. Um, this is a miniature one. Um, I don't know if you can see that because of the glare, but it says Booyah on the blade. Okay, next I have a Strike King spinnerbait. I caught a bass on my second cast on this. And here's another Strike King spinnerbait without its trailer. Okay, next. I have a smaller chatterbait right here. It's actually got eyes on it. And here's a jig head for saltwater fishing, so like on the flats or uh, the inlet. Because, you know, here in South Carolina, we have a lot of inlets. Next, I have a black $1 buzzbait. And somebody told me how I could make this better on YouTube. And I put these two uh, Saltwater Carolina rig beads on here. And I haven't caught a bass yet, but here it is. And last but not least in my spinnerbait collection is my Booyah spinnerbait. This is a bigger version. I've actually caught a monster bass on this out of my lake. I, I brought it up to the shore and I went to go grab for it. I grabbed the line and it shaked and it came off. But this is a great spinnerbait. Booyah. Um, next, I have a Booyah uh, Bayou Blade. I just got it, so I've only taken it out of the package, so I just leave it in here for now, because I haven't been fishing with it lately. And next, we have Man's Hard Nose uh, Tubes. I just use these to practice um, with my new fishing pole. I have a Shimano Compre pole with a Team Daiwa reel, and it's very nice. Next, I have these Hall River Tackle. Um, these are, I just got these at Bilo or whatever, or not Bilo, but Target. And uh, I had it, it was on sale or something. Okay, next I have my favorite worms, Man's Jelly Worm. You can only buy these on their website. And my father has a bass mounted on his wall that is 12 pounds exactly from these. Grape of Fire Tail. Next I have these Zoom. Zoom trick worms. I didn't get one out. Sorry, I didn't get out the man's worms. Um, I'll get it out in a second. This is what it looks like. Okay. Need to shorten this up here. Renegade four inch squirrel tail worms. I've caught over 100 largemouth bass in one summer on these. I fish for four hours a day, maybe three or four times a week in the local ponds and lakes around here and I've caught over a hundred plus. Next I have another pack of man's worms, man's jelly worms. Gary Yamamoto, uh, Yamasinkos, or these are, yeah, yeah, Yamasinkos. And then here's some more uh, renegades. Tequila, uh, Sunrise, and this one is Pink Watermelon or something. Renegade's a great uh, worm company and it's cheap. Thanks for watching. This is my tackle box right here. And this is my new fishing reel Team Daiwa and Shimano Compray. I'm going to go fishing today, so I'm going to have to end this now. See ya.